That sweet sprinkle on your latte isn't just flavor. Cinnamon, a tree bark packed with aromatic oils and plant chemicals. Cassia cinnamon is the common kitchen cinnamon. Ceylon cinnamon from Sri Lanka is lighter and softer in flavor. For thousands of years, cinnamon was traded like gold from Egypt to India. Used in perfumes, rituals, and traditional remedies, people used it to warm the body and help preserve food long before bacteria were discovered. Lab and animal studies show cinnamon has antioxidant activity and can affect inflammation and insulin pathway. Small human studies tested cinnamon alongside usual care for blood sugar or cholesterol, but results are mixed and modest. However, major reviews say the evidence isn't strong enough to recommend cinnamon supplements as a treatment. Food level amounts are generally safe for most healthy adults. But cassia cinnamon contains coumarin, which can stress the liver at high, long-term doses. New research from the University of Mississippi shows cinnamaldehyde can activate liver pathways that control how quickly some medicines break down. That means certain drugs may clear faster or slower than expected. Interaction databases show many potential interactions with blood thinners, diabetes drugs, and some heart or psychiatric medicines. Choose Ceylon cinnamon if you use it often. It's naturally lower in coumarin. Use caution with cinnamon capsules or high-dose powders if you take any of these medications or if you have liver problems or if you are pregnant, breastfeeding. Always tell your doctor or pharmacist about any cinnamon supplements. Treat them like any other drug. In small sprinkles, cinnamon is comforting. In high doses, especially with other meds, it becomes hidden chemistry. If you find content like this helpful, follow us for more evidence-based videos. Educational only, not personal medical advice. Not for diagnosing, treating, curing, or preventing disease. Don't change any medicines or supplements without consulting with your healthcare provider.